Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to make green screen memes using an online editor that works on your phone or computer. Whoa, that's a genuinely shocking fact. Using just this one tool, you'll be able to download green screen meme templates from the internet, remove the green in a few clicks, and then add any background you want, whether it's an image, GIF, or another video. In addition to making memes, this will also enable you to add special effects to your videos and generally create cool customized video content. So let's get started. So one thing I wanted to note is that we do have a bunch of green screen meme templates, like pretty classic templates that are linked in the description. So if you are looking for a classic meme template, like the Sheila Buff Just Do It meme, uh, we might already have it and we've already removed the green for you. So all you need to do is upload your own background um, those templates will be in the description, so check them out. But yeah, to make any green screen meme, uh, you're going to want to click the first link in the description, and that'll take you to our online editor, Kapwing. So the first step is to grab your green screen template video. So if you just search green screen memes on YouTube, there's a ton of them. And with Kapwing, we can grab these templates and use them in the editor. So I found the Filthy Frank, it's time to stop green screen. And I'm just going to copy the link to this video, go back to Kapwing, and just paste it right in. And it should grab that video that was on YouTube. This step is nice because it eliminates the need to uh, download and then re-upload your video. All you have to do is just copy and paste the link right into our editor. You might want to trim the meme, especially if you used one of those uh, packs of green screen memes from YouTube. Uh, to do that, just click the video layer and then click trim on the right side here. Use the dots at the end of this bar to move it all the way to the part where you want it, the video to end. So then once you're finished with trimming, click done. Then to remove the green, just click the layer again and then click effects on the right side and then click chroma key. And it's automatically set to remove green, but you can do blue or even choose any color in the video. So if I click key to color, you can use this eyedropper tool and move over pixels in the video and then click and then it will remove that color. But if you have a green screen, then just use the green channel. From here, you can change the threshold of the green screen removal. So you can see if you increase it, it will take more pixels away. And then if you reduce it, it will leave in more pixels. And you might see that like green edge along, um, along the meme. Um, so I like to leave it somewhere in the middle. Awesome. So now we have kind of a transparent video layer uh, and you can add any background behind it. You can use an image, a GIF, or a video. So you can either upload this type of content or you can even search right within the editor as well. So if you click images, you can search, the source is from Google Images and you can search for whatever. So if I wanted a GIF, for example, I could just sort, search GIF and then different results pop up. And if I click one, it'll just appear right in the editor. So I'm actually going to use another video from YouTube for the background of my meme um, so that Filthy Frank is kind of coming in and, and is overlaid on that video. So I'm going to just copy the link again to this video and go back to Kapwing and then click upload and paste that link. So there we go. This is the new video layer. Um, but since I want the Filthy Frank green screen to overlay this video, I need to send this video layer backwards. And you can do that. I'm just gonna zoom in a little um, on the side here. There should be a button that says send backwards. So just click that, then it's behind. So right now, this is what it looks like. Have you ever had a dream that- It's fine to that you stop. Have, you have Another note is that you might see that the green screen part is lagging a little bit. That's just because, uh, and it's written here too, the frame rate may be decreased in this preview, but in when after you export the video and download it, it will be the normal frame rate. So just keep that in mind. But I kind of want Filthy Frank to, the green screen meme part to come in at a later point in the video. So if you want to change the timing of different elements, uh, you can just click the timeline up here. And now this brings all the different layers that are in this scene onto the screen here down below. So we see we have this green screen layer with the green screen removed, of course. And then we have the, the video background behind it. So to move layers, you can just drag 
click and drag the whole layer to make it start at a different time. You can also trim by clicking the end of the layer and then moving it left or right. I've moved this uh, layer back a little bit so that the green screen overlay will come in at a later point. Let's see what it looks like now. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you, it's time you to could do stop. Some, you you it's time you, to you, stop, could, okay? you you want you want no to, to do you so cool. Uh, I think I'm just gonna shorten this clip since it extends beyond the filthy Frank green screen meme part. I'm just gonna click the end of this layer and drag it down so it ends with the end of the green screen layer. Um, I also kind of want the f the overlay to be on the side, so I'm just gonna click and drag that over. So now Filthy Frank is on the edge. You you could you do you you want it's you time you to could stop. do so you you it's you, time you, to stop, you, okay? you you want. I'm gonna click done, and then. You have some other options here. You can change the output size of this whole video. If you click one by one, it'll change it to a square and then accordingly for the different sizes. You can also add things like text overlays. Um, so if you wanted to make like a text meme, um, you can just make it click five by four and like resize everything down and then have your text up here. There's options to adjust different layers on the right side, so if you click this, the text layer, you'll see different options now. You can also add audio in this top bar here. We accept most major links like TikTok, YouTube, and SoundCloud, and some other ones. Um, but once you are happy with how your meme is looking, then just click the export red button in the top, and your video will start processing. Our project is done loading, and this is what it looks like. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want it's you time you to could stop. do so you you it's time you, to stop, you, okay? you you want you want no him to You might notice a small kapoing watermark in the corner here. To remove that, just simply sign into your account, and that's completely free to do. There should be a button over here that allows you to do that. Um, but once you're ready to save the file to your device, you can just click download. And you can always edit or make a copy of the project again. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel as it really supports us. Let us know in the comments if you have any other video ideas or feature requests, and we'll see you in the next one.